do we do we really have to do this can we just you know skip this review please like it's not even worth it Hello everybody, welcome to Showhead Reviews with me, Showhead, where I pay for mobile games and check them out so you don't have to. Trust me, you're going to be grateful for, that I paid for this game instead of you. Here on the channel, we rate the game based on playability, zero microtransactions, length, design, and lastly, how fun the game actually is. So today we're going to take a look at Cat Fishing Simulator, where you are a cat... With a fishing rod for some reason, for some reason you're not using your paws to fish out the fishes, but hey, whatever. You're, you're a cat in a boat using a fishing rod trying to catch fish. Oh, and uh, you can you can purchase upgrades, like you can upgrade your character, your get a better boat, longer line, stuff like that. So there's that. And there's different types types of fishes that that you can uh, then you can check out or capture or you know stuff. Do I need to say anything more? I do. Now nah, we're we're just gonna go straight to playability. This is where we rate the game based on how much you can play the game without the game constantly telling you what to do. And in that aspect, it's really not that bad. I mean, you jump straight into the game. Let's uh, try and figure out what we're supposed to be doing. There's a button here. Oh. Got something. I mean, the title of the game is nowhere near, nowhere to be seen when, uh, when you launch up the game. It's just... You jump straight into the game, and that's about it. And, I mean, it's relatively easy to figure out what you're supposed to be doing and all of that. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that terrible. You're really quick to figure out what you have to do. So, you don't actually need an intro or anything like that. But, it gets repetitive really fast. More on that later. So, I mean, fair is fair. I, I guess I have to give it a 4 in playability. But that's probably where the, the good stuff ends. Zero microtransaction. This is where you take a look at the in-game store and or ads in the game based on the price we paid for it. And here comes the first issue of the game. This game is so obvious that it's based around forcing you down the path of using the in-game store. Because whatever you get for selling the fishes that you fish is so, so small that you have to constantly go back and forth to catch enough fishes to actually upgrade your boat, your character, get a longer line so you can catch a catch more fish and stuff like that but the increments are so slow that you barely even notice it okay so we're gonna be here a while i mean the length of the boat <laughs> the speed of the boat it shows on the graphics that it's a significant upgrade and all of that but you really can't tell also with the line that you throw in you really can't tell that it that it's uh, a little bit longer. I mean, it's a question of is it this long or is it this long? Like, there's barely even a difference. And yeah, the lowest, the lowest item on the in-game store is like what was it, five thousand? Uh, yeah, I think it was five thousand uh, coins, gold, whatever you want to call, uh, call it. And that costs almost the same price as the game. I paid for this game like one euro seventy-five, 
and the in-game store tells me that this was around two dollars so i don't know the conversion rate of euro to dollars but it's kind of similar so you can actually make the argument that um the lowest item on the store is actually more expensive than the game itself so when you're gonna design a game like that and you design it around the in-game store to be used and all of that why do we why do we have to pay for this game why not just make it a free-to-play game and just go full on in you're you're already almost doing it so why not why not just go full full force into it? So I'll, I'm giving it a one, and this one is basically only because it's a cheap game, but it's designed around the microtransaction, so I don't like it. In fact, I despise it. Like this is where you take a look at how long the game appears to be. Or how much replayability you can get out of the game. It's a fishing simulator. Where you're on a boat next, next to a port. You sail the boat outwards to fish some fish. Fill up the boat. Go back to shore to sell it. And that's about it. Then you just up, upgrade the character so you can do it more efficient, more faster. Yada yada yada. So, it's fun for like 10-15 minutes, something like that. After that, it just becomes a chore. I mean, I'd rather go, go to the kitchen right now and do the dishes than launching up this game. Because, at the end of the day, when I do the dishes, I actually have clean dishes. This game is just... Why do we bother? It gets a one and a half because reasons. I don't know. Move go. Design. This is where you take a look at the design of the game, art, user interface, music, etc., etc. So this game gives me headaches because, like I mentioned earlier, this. This game is designed around on tempting you to use the in-game store as much as humanly possible. Because... <sighs> Where do I begin? This game has background music. Let's start there. This game has background music. That at first isn't that annoying. It's just... It's there along with uh, the sound effects of, of you thro throwing the line in and uh, the water uh, landing in the water, uh, the fish catching on, uh, you pull, uh, pulling the rod and, uh, and throwing it and stuff like that. You know, just the usual that you expect. It could have been may maybe more with, like, I don't know, some sounds on the boat when, when you're moving the boat, stuff like that, but overall it wasn't that bad. Until you realize that you can't adjust the volumes on any of it. It's either just on or off. Nothing in between. And if I have to listen to one more loop of this background music, I will go insane. Because the loop is so short that it just. Anyways, if that wasn't enough enough of a bad sign, having having a short background music that just loops over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over without actually, you know, being able to adjust it or switching from time to time, then. There is this fun, fun little feature in almost all mobile games. Okay. 
This is why. Dude. Dude. Really, dude. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So you pop in in the middle of of the of when I'm uh, throwing something, then you pop up if I want to raid the game. And after you do that, the sound of the game just goes away. Except that when it prompted me to do that, it's got to be time-based or something like that, but when it prompted me to do that, I was in the middle of a throw, trying to throw the line out to the ocean to catch more fish. And if that wasn't annoying enough, the background music, well, the music in general, both the sound effects and the background music, actually crashed i had to restart the game to get it working again i had to force close the game it wasn't enough to just go out of the game and back into it i had to literally tell the phone to force forcefully close the game just to be able to get the background music back so yeah and, I mean, we've all played these kind of games before, so there's nothing new in it. And I'm going to give it a 2, and the only reason why I'm giving it a 2 is because the art is decent enough to hold the game, game together. But this is where we take a look at how fun the game actually is. Do I need to say something here? Like, have you been watching or listening to what I've been saying? You still want me to? Uh, I mean, let's put it this way. <clears throat> let's put it this way. Usually when I do these reviews, I, I record my first expressions of the game. Like, when I launch, when I launch the game up and... And... Uh, and the first expressions and all of that and usually i try to record around an hour maybe maybe hour and a half something like that and uh, when i'm done recording then i usually you know sp spend the lunch break or or when i'm bored or something like that to you know play it a little bit further to see kind of where, where i want to go with it and all of that But this game, yeah, I closed the game and I'm not even going to play this game ever again. I want to so, I want to so bad to give this a zero, but I feel like giving it a zero. I'm telling, I'm telling everyone that this is the worst game in ever in existence. But it's, I mean, I guess there are worse games out there. So I can't really say that it's, I can't justify giving it a zero. But one is still too generous. So we're going with half a star. But I still really want to give it a zero. Overall score. Overall, this gets a 9 out of 25 available, meaning that it gets an overall 1.8, and we're gonna knock that straight down to 1.5. It does not deserve to. It probably doesn't even deserve a 1.5, but hey, I have to be I have to be honest with myself, and I guess it gets a 1.5, mostly because of well, the art. And and the intro. Or well, the the playability.
that's the only thing that is pushing this game up. So that's it for today. You know, just don't bother liking this video. Just move on to the next one. I'll talk to you later.